I am sitting here worshiping, and I am seeing waves of the Spirit coming to you. Waves of the Spirit are coming to you successively. The first that is coming is a wave of gratitude and thanksgiving at a higher dimension than you've known before. Because when you are thankful and grateful and praising and thanking Him for the little things, the tiniest of little things, appreciating even the shade of a color. See, God wants us to enjoy the earth he has put us here for. He wants us to even enjoy the little things because some of us have made life so hard. Some of us have really been toiling and trying hard to please him, and you already do. Some of you have been trying to get it right with your purpose and have forgotten to smell the roses. God wants us to take time to enjoy the little things every day and let that place of gratitude bring you into greater blessing, even bring you into greater miracles. It is the hour for miracles. Miracles have already been released, but they have to be pulled down. He has already answered your prayer, but you have, to, you have not known how to step into it, to enter into it. That is to cooperate with the Holy Spirit to receive them. So God is bringing a wave to help you. He is bringing his spirit in a greater dimension to help you, to be able to receive the answer he has already given. He, he has already heard your cry. Some of you have cried, 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 prayed, 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 and God is saying, take this wave and let it propel you into your miracle. Take this wave and let it propel you into the true course that he has for you. The second wave has to do with the impossible. He is the God of the impossible. That is why he's bringing the miracles so that we can believe him for things that we have never understood how to believe him for before. He is going to teach us his ways. And then he showed me a new mantle coming on this house. It's a true mantle of evangelism. But in order for the mantle to be effective the way he desires, he's breathing a freshness, a wind of refreshing, a rain of refreshing is coming to take you out of the past cycle, to break past things that have held you back. Because when he puts the sickle in your hand to go into the harvest, he des his desire is not one feeble among you, not one regret, not one pain or of wrong decisions, not one hurt or wound of what someone did or said to you, not one offense, not one bitterness, not one ounce of pride to take credit because God is doing a work here that, that he shall receive the glory for. And he is going to put a sickle in your hand and it's going to be easy to lead the lost to him. Because they are going to see the work and the testimony of who you are in the earth. Your light will no longer be hidden behind the bushel of mistakes and fear and insecurity and all the things that have held you back because he is going to do that in you as you partake of the waves that he is sending you. 